Hello there, my beautiful audience, and welcome to Hack Attack. Here's the thing. I was eating a bowl of cereal, and before I poured the milk in, I was fingering my cereal. I don't know if you do that, but I do that. And then a pattern emerged. Look at this, look at this. This told me that everybody needs Cascade. <laughs> So here we have AUM. I'm using FabFilters Twin 3 as a sound source, and then it's running through Cascade right here. And right now I've got all of the values in here set to pretty minimal amounts. And you can hear something happening, but it's not much. Right now, we've only got one stage on in the diffusion section here. There is no feedback looping going on. We have no modulation, no dampening, and we've done nothing with the input here either. All right, so Cascade is basically a bank of 24 all-pass filters for each of the channels, left and right. All-pass filters are filters, but they don't do the things that we normally think of when we're thinking filters. They don't mess with frequency. They actually mess with phase, and they're the heart of a reverb. And you can hear that something is happening, but not much. Right now we got something sounding like a delay, and that delay can increase if we increase the distance. Yeah, not much of a reverb action going on here, and that is because we don't have any trailing off happening with these stages of filters, but we can shape that with the shape knob. Now it's starting to sound more like a reverb, but it sounds more like a metallic reverb. To change that, we actually have to modulate the time domain. And that's why we can find a modulation section in here. It's starting to sound much better. Oh, I love it so much. Let's increase the stages full and put the shape down here somewhere. Now, what we're gonna do next is add a feedback to this and we're gonna get a longer, most washed out tail. <laughs> I really want to highlight that when you're working with Cascade, you are working within a sandbox for building time-based and face-based effects. In the previous section, I said that the all-pass filter is the lifeblood of a reverb. Well, it is, but it is also used for building a wide range of other effects. It's one of the most useful filters you could ever have. So, we've already gone big. And it sounds amazing. However, what happens when we go small? Well, we're gonna pull down all of these parameters until we get into the smallest values we can get. And we end up with this. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna increase the feedback. And next, we're gonna modulate it. Pretty sweet, right? Well, watch what happens when we increase the all-pass filters here. We pull down on the feedback a little bit and pull up on the modulation here. Sweet, 
Great, right? Now let's add more stages or all pass filters, pull down on the feedback even more and up the rate and pull down on the depth and we get this. So far we've been able to create reverbs, we've been able to create phaser-like, chorus-like effects, modulated comb filtering kind of, and there is even more to this, because if you look here, we also have a delay section. It gets really interesting when we start mixing these effects together. And this is the true power of Cascade, a sandbox for building effects. And I think everyone should experience it. In my opinion, everyone should have Cascade because it is more than that reverb you just pull out to get a job done. It is a chance at exploring reverb algorithms and understanding how these parameters interconnect and how they relate to one another. And the value of having a plugin like this, where you basically have a time effect DIY platform, you can make more than just reverbs. You can make delays, choruses, phaser-like effects, reverse reverbs. much more that could be said about Cascade, but I really don't want to. And I think I'd be robbing you from a lot of aha moments if I did explain everything. So just go get Cascade. I don't think that anyone will get really disappointed over this app. It's just, it's just so good and so much fun to work with. Now, before you leave, why don't you hit me with a thumbs up? And uh, that's of course, if you wanna support the work I do here on the channel, because if you don't wanna support the work I do here on the channel, then you can go f now, as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. So I have a Mavis now and I am actually starting a Euro rack and I'm trying to do it as a low budget thing. So I'm going to have to DIY a lot, but I thought I'd start out strong with a proper brain for it, which is going to be Mavis. And now I'm looking for things to pair up with it and we'll just see how that goes. Thank you.